it's very easy to be able to assign your own domain or subdomain to a landing page that you create and get response. And you're gonna do that within the landing page settings. And that's after you actually create your page itself, you're gonna make your way to the settings to configure for your landing page. And here in the landing page URL settings is where you'll be able to set this up. And there's a couple of things to note about this. The first is that uh, utilizing a GetResponse subdomain for this landing page is always required. Basically, in case anything ever happens with your own domain or your own website or the URL of your own that you give to this landing page, the page can always be live on a subdomain hosted with GetResponse. But of course, if you want to be able to share this link that you assign with your own domain or subdomain, that is what you would use. But you will always fill out this element here using a GetResponse subdomain. And by default, it takes the uh, page title that you gave for your landing page and puts it here, but you could of course edit this to be whatever you would like and choose perhaps a different domain here if uh, you don't want to use the one that's pre-selected. But of course, if you want to actually have your landing page also be associated with your own domain or subdomain, you'll do that there just beneath as well. Now, another thing to mention before you actually do that is remember, if you do do this, you need to go ahead and make some changes in your DNS settings for your domain or add a CNAME entry to your subdomain. And so these uh, texts here that I'm hovering on are uh, lead to great FAQs. So it's very clear step-by-step -step instructions for how to change your DNS settings so that if you pointed your domain to this landing page, this would explain exactly how to do that so that whenever people visit your website, your domain, they would see this landing page that you have just created. Or if you're wanting this landing page to be associated with one of your subdomains, then you would add a CNAME entry. So you need to make sure that you make these changes before you expect for this landing page to be live on either your uh, domain or your subdomain. Because it can take, you know, usually around 24 hours, sometimes up to 48 hours for those changes to be, uh, you know, propagated uh, across the internet and for us to be able to see that these settings have been made properly. So make sure you do this ahead of time before you really need for this landing page to be live on your own domain or subdomain. And really quickly, just in case there's any kind of confusion, just to clarify, a domain is your website, www.yourwebsite.com. That's your domain. And a subdomain is simply, of course, like it sounds, like a sub page of that domain. So, you know, usually it could be something like, you know, blog.yourwebsite.com or support.yourwebsite.com, pricing, promo, you know, different, it's a different space of your website because your domain is your homepage. So if you expect for someone to go to your website, your homepage, and see the landing page that you've created and get response, then you should totally edit your DNS settings and set that up here. But if it's a different page on your website, a subdomain that you have, you need to do the CNAME entry option. So that's very important to do first. And then after you've made your settings, you've made your changes in your settings, you can assign your own domain and set up the URL here. So you'll see there's a drop down menu with some other domains and subdomains I've previously added. You could simply choose from one of these, but you can see if I choose one and it's not yet active. So you can tell that uh, they're still verifying the DNS record for this particular domain. So it's not gonna be active at this URL address. Of course, it's just an example, but you can see, you would see this. You'd also see this information if they were not able to verify the domain. So I would need to go back and double check my DNS settings. So you'll have these ones that you previously added in case you've done that before. And this is where you would add a new subdomain or domain. So if you wanted to simply uh, add a new domain here, you would just type in yourdomain.com if you had you know, edited uh, the DNS settings. Or if it's gonna be a subdomain, for example, you would write whatever the subdomain is, promo.yourdomain.com, if you've added the CNAME entry to your subdomain. And so I'll just make this a little different because I've probably added this example before and you would just simply click add and then you can see it goes ahead and it pre-fills it for you. And then you also see it's got this additional box here called a directory. A directory is basically just like a page path and it's a really cool option if you would like to be able to uh, use one domain or one subdomain but have multiple pages actually hosted on that domain or subdomain.
This is, uh, you know, most easily probably described if you had multiple products. So if you were wanting to promote or, you know, highlight a few different products, each with their own individual landing page, but you want the page hosted within a particular domain or subdomain, then you could just simply set up the directory here, and this could be called product one. And then you would be able to set this specific URL just like this up with your product one landing page. And then you could create another landing page that's associated with promo1.yourdomain.com, for example, but it's a different product, so it'd be product two for a different landing page. So basically, if you see this directory here as it shows, it's completely optional, but it's a cool idea to be able to host, host multiple pages within one domain or subdomain. So that's what that means there. So it's quite simple. The main things are to remember to change your settings first and then choose your desired domain or subdomain or add a new one here. And one other thing I wanna show you about managing your domains for your landing pages. So we can assume this is set up as I would like it to go. And then I wanna show you via my account, you can go to domains. And this is going to refer to your landing page domains that you have. So this is an easy uh, you know, and kind of comprehensive area to be able to manage all of your domains. Because you saw whenever I was in the landing page settings that whenever I would select one of those domains from the dropdown, it would give me this information. But here we can see it all compile, uh, compiled in one easy place. So you would see all of the status uh, information here, whether we're still checking the domain or if the domain was not able to be verified and you need to double check your settings. You'll also see by hovering over them, you can remove them. So if you have some old domains or some domains you were simply testing, you don't wanna keep it too messy, you can simply remove them. And of course, I should let you know that these are all testing domains, so of course they're not active or uh, verified. But if you indeed did have some you know, verified properly domains or subdomains, they would simply be you know, green check marks and you would see easily that they're active. You're also able to add new domains or subdomains here as well. So just remember, it's very easy to access from my account domains, access all of your landing page domains and manage them, add them, remove them, and check on the status. But within the landing page, manage, and then be able to go to actions, edit settings, that's where you're gonna be able to manage your uh, the actual landing page URL settings that you have, or whenever you're creating a new page and you make it to the settings, that's where you'll be uh, managing all of those as well. So hopefully that's pretty simple and you all feel comfortable and ready to go ahead and set up some domains or subdomains.